Hello boys and girls and welcome to my channel, I'm the General of Rome and today we are back playing some more European Cellars for Common Sense as Trabazons for the Komnenoi Empire uh, achievement run where we're struggling to try to get an alliance with Pol- He declared, he declared, he declared! Ah, or did he get declared on? Oh, it's not his war. Just, just go crush some armies. Come on, just go get your armies, get crushed. That's going to be great. Come on, do it. <laughs> He's actually spamming units right now, probably, so it's probably actually bad for us. Meanwhile, we, uh, we have repaid our loans. Advisor died. We didn't have an advisor. If we get a statesman, I would hire him. Better relations over time. Would that do it? May do it. Tempting. I think I will first go for a uh, guy. A uh, soldier. I only want to do that if I have some spare money. Because when I get the soldier, I will be making less money. I could hire some more of my production. I guess I will. How much would it cost up here? Probably above 100 right now. No, just barely not. How much does it cost up here? Fifty-eight, fifty-seven, fifty-six. 57, 56, but it wouldn't hire anything here. But here it would, it would hire it a little bit. Sure. Stop the privilege with Muscovy. Isn't enough, is it? Coins new. We're way off. This coffee has too many has too many diplomatic relations. Wow. Yeah, it's getting worse. He is spamming units. I need to have units, so I can eat Strabazant. He has six dudes, I believe. Or not eat, not eat Strabazant, eat, uh... Teodoro. Teodoro has still his six dudes, which also is his, uh, max. I can have eight dudes, I only have four. I will probably make the two units if I uh, have 20, uh, 20 ducats. Of course, then we will have the same amount of ducats and we have a decent general. Could try to make a second general. If our heir would be of age, I would probably make my king into a general. I may still do it, just to try to get an awesome general out of him. Most of the times, if it's a crappy ruler, he isn't crappy, so it's probably going to be a decent general, but if it's a crappy ruler, they used to be good generals, I believe. Plus one for subsidies now. Uh, yeah, we have 22 ducats, we can make the two dudes. Let's 
do that. Autonomy or admin power. I'm not gonna gain more autonomy. That's the second most important. No, it's not this bronze, it's this bronze. It's the third most important bronze of my nation. In that case. The scary thing is that we do not have any allies, so if anyone would declare war on us, we would just be fucked. Our advisor died, as we don't care about. Yeah, Inquisitor. Don't care. Is this Elsass or something? No, it's Genoa. Alright. Is that the same warrior? Yeah. Guess the units are done because we aren't making that much money anymore. I'll send my units to the border here. I send them to here. I can't move my new units anymore. I need to wait. If I do this, I can do it. Alright, high the maintenance. We need to have maintenance just way up. To uh, to be able to actually win this battle, and even then there is a chance of losing. There won't be a river penalty. But if he has a better leader, or if we roll badly, we will lose. Yeah, let's try it. Or shall we wait until just ju just before we declare? If we get a bad ruler, it's just all over. <laughs> or a bad uh, leader. Ah, uh, no. Don't need to be over. We just need to roll good and do not have to get unlucky with him getting a good leader or something. Watch him get a three-star general. Right, I think morale is just up. Wait one more month. Then I will get access in Crimea. Is it war with who? War with Muscovy. Let's provide the uh, conquest of Kazan. Alright then. Will he give me access? Yes, he would. Alright. Yeah. Right, crush your fingers for the awesome general. I'll take it. Three shock general is pretty good right now. A one three. One doesn't really matter, but three really does matter. Yeah, just cross your fingers, he doesn't get a, uh, a leader. Do we want to wait and get a... We may need to lower our maintenance for just a little bit longer and... Then get a... Uh, just that advantage of having one more, uh, one more guy. Has he tacked up? Because we can tack up. Did. Fuck you, dude. Why did you tack up? That means I need to tack up. Top him off again. No, Teodoro. I'm just about to declare war on you and you try to get an alliance. That doesn't work.
doesn't even say distance between borders. That's bad. That's just really, really bad. It means it's not going up. It also means that maybe it's better to just go for an advisor. Get the diplomatic reputation guy. That may do it. Or better relations over time. I would need to have a look at what it does, really. Lower the maintenance again. This was stupid. This between borders doesn't matter. Don't how many dudes do you have? You have... Let's see... Oh, not on the foot. Oh, wait. <laughs> yes, 25 dudes with a force limit of 27. He doesn't have any manpower, so if he fights more battles... I may have more chance of uh, getting stuff done. Almost at the max. Um, do you want to hire it again? This is not that much. I mean, over here it's not worth it right now, but here it may be worth it. These ones, it's just not even worth bothering. Here we may want to. More manpower, now. Yeah. Get some more income. Neutral, army strength, and religion. First reform in the empire um, against um, opinion, royal marriage, and diplomatic reputation. That's five. Plus. Minus one. Oh, we need it. We need it. Ugh. We may need to get the loan. We need it right now. So, yeah, it's worth it to get the loan. Just only... We are just off, but I'm not gonna risk it. I'm just not gonna risk it. Dramatic reputation. Done. Yes! Yes! <laughs> we have done it! <laughs> he has no real allies. <laughs> um, yeah. Fabricate on the Golden Horde. Fabricate on Mayar. What well, actually doesn't matter if we... T if this one's better, um, yes, it's better. But if we take this, we can still go for this one. So it doesn't matter if we take this one or this one. So yeah, go for this this one. It is going to be the wrong culture and the wrong religion, but yeah. Oh well. Cool. Huh? Right, kick the advisor as soon as we can. Lose stability or lose darts. Great. Thanks, game.
Would he join me against, uh... No, he wouldn't. Defensive, war exhaustion, fighting another war. When I've repaid my loan, I will, uh... Wait until I have the money to make the... The seventh dude, and then I will go eat, Theodora. Now it's just be because of me wanting to expand, not just for, you know, needing it to needing to get it uh, for the alliance with Poland. Let's actually top him off. Muscovy is now not gonna happen anymore. Because uh, we are allied to a rival. It's actually bad, because Muscovy is just really getting strong. If we can, we will switch at some point. How close are we, actually? Way off. Um, my snap would be 38 off, I think. Neutral attitudes, too much diplomatic relations. He has, yeah, he's f five relations, at least five relations that I can see right now is one alliance with the Teutons, he has a person union with Twer, he has three vassals. He's warning his personal union, bitch. Ha 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 ha. That's just silly. Oh, Burgundy is just wrecked. <laughs> yeah. He only has one of his uh, unions left. He lost, like... He lost Brabant. He lost Holland. He lost Nevers. He lost a bunch of land. He's just rip. Yeah. How does it say that he is allied to Arnaud? Because he is not allied to Arnaud. He has a uh, person union over Arnaud. How close are we with the uh, marriage? Far off, but I will keep relations up. Anyone have an alliance with this guy? Yeah, he's like Oh, yeah, Caracolin is gonna vassalize this guy. Yeah, I guess who's gonna eat Corfu? <laughs> Big surprise. They got uh, freed by the Ottomans in the peace deal with Venice. But yeah, I saw it coming that he would get killed by the Ottomans at some point. Who doesn't have an heir? Poland is just a weak claim, I think. Kanyat, Brandenburg, Mecklenburg, Flanders. Come back from Muscovy. Ottomans aren't hostile anymore. Let's go improve relations. You want to ally me? <laughs> no, not really. <laughs> He's still hostile, right? Yeah, he is. Oh well, at least Karakonlu isn't ever gonna annex Georgia, because Hordes don't know how to, uh, 
how to annex people. At least they don't know how to annex vassals. They could just declare war on me and annex me. But they can't uh, diplo annex someone. No guy, do you have good allies? Yeah, I may want to. I may want to be friends with you for now. At least keep relations up. Poland's allies. Only Brandenburg, it looks like. Yeah, Brandenburg and me. Do you hate uh, Austria or not? No, you don't. Does Austria like you? Yeah, they do. Why have you not allied them? Strange. After we maxed out one of these guys, I will go for uh, uh, a problem relationship with Austria, I think. Just making sure no one is uh, fabricating claims on me. Oh yeah, they have claims on me over here. Fucking Georgia, don't you dare declare on me. As long as Poland uh, support me, it's all fine. I think. I hope. <laughs> I need to eat my way into the Golden Horde. I probably need to eat... Um, this is capital, so I need to eat this one and this one so I don't can go eat no guy. Oh, he's allied to the Timurids. God damn it. <laughs> so I can't eat no guy. But it will be the way to expand, I think. At least as long as we can't have Muscovy as an alliance. Alright, if we now would do this, we would just barely make money. Wow. Yeah, I need to eat Theodora. So, um, I will have to uh, lose some money for a while. I may even consider going for a uh, cavalry. Yeah. Don't want to eat a coin loo. Main reason being that uh, Ottomans have a core on it. And you know, Ottomans. fighting the Ottomans just. yeah, rip. Well, maybe Poland Lithuania would be able to. to win it. Yeah. Don't know for sure. Don't want to risk it. That may still be the best option. There is my cavalry. Alright. Guess we're gonna lose some money. Oh wait, we can of course get rid of the subsidies. Still not really matter, but... 
still nice to not be losing a whole lot of points. It's probably mostly for the one battle. Assuming we can win it. We don't we need to be careful that we don't forget to get rid of our uh, of the ship. We're not get not get rid of it but at least um, just mod bullets. Right. Mod bullets and declare war. Cross your fingers that this isn't gonna end badly. First, one more time, check it. Oh, he now has a better force limit. Check. Oh, he has low morale. Yep, go right now. Ah, shit! It's because he tacked up. Fuck you, dude. How can you already have tacked up? That means better units. I can't do it. Fuck's sake. Shit. Well, lower the maintenance again. Fuck you. I hate you. Why did you do that? Probably because you have an insane good leader, don't you? Yeah, pretty much. I will have a uh, crappy leader, yeah? Three, zero, three, yeah. Great! Yep, and there goes Karakonlu vassalizing uh, these guys. Yeah. It happens. Wait, we still have a... Oh, fuck. We still have the loan. I didn't think about that. I thought we already paid that off. Yep, they just became a vassal. Which means I need to set another rival. I need to set two rivals. Golden Horse. I don't want to set any other ones. God damn it, why would you not join? For fuck's sake, I can't do anything. Because Poland just doesn't want to join any of our wars. That's the worst. It's just bad. We cannot do anything right now. Ugh. <laughs> but at least we're secure for now. As long as Poland doesn't break the alliance. If Muscovy gets rid of some of his uh, relations and if he eats some of this land, or if I can eat some of this land, then. Oh, we're at the maximum uh, Diplo points, which means tag up. Oh, 
I wonder if this is only the uh, fort because it's the capital. I think it is. There is no way to check it, right? Don't know. Oh, it's an overall thing. I thought it would be separate how much it would cost. I don't like that. It should not cost as much points to... Uh, to improve a thing that we haven't improved yet. Um, I said I should improve relations with Austria, and then I didn't do it, so yeah, sure, improve relations with Austria. And the Mamluks, maybe? If we get the Mamluks on our side. Did Poland rival the Ottomans? Yes, they did. If we could ally the Mamluks, which isn't thing that's gonna happen anytime soon, but it may happen at some point. If we can do that, we probably would be able to fight the Ottomans. Poland and the Mamluks versus the Ottomans would probably win. At least they would win at one of the two sides of, of the Ottomans. I don't know which side would win, like if, if we would have success on the uh, on the uh, what's it called? The uh, uh, European front, or if we would have success on the Asian front. I guess we're gonna lose prestige. I can't uh, afford to... Well, maybe I... No, I can't afford it. I would really like to do this, but... Yeah. Does it, does it, what does tradition actually do, apart from... Uh, Gives you morale of armies, and yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess we're gonna uh, extend our loan. I can't. I, I just cannot get rid of that. But I do look at the time. I think it's time to end this episode. So hope you enjoyed it, and see you next time.